Good morning, happy Sunday, and we will start meditation. Take a seat. And make a choice to either close your eyes or set them to one point. Couple of deep breaths as you settle. That's the nice thing about morning meditation is that there is usually less overall distraction to take a seat and focus. And sometimes there's a little bit more planning that goes on in your brain as you're doing it. So the goal is to give yourself an opportunity away from those thoughts. An opportunity to focus into your physical body. An opportunity to set a an intention, a goal, a way of being for the day. It's overall an opportunity to be present. And the tools we have for presenting with a physical body from the grounding parts, the pelvis down, pelvis to thighs, to shins, to feet rooted into the earth. From the pelvis up, the lower part of the belly, all the way up your spine, your torso, into your shoulders, your head and neck, lifting, lifting away from the earth. And there's minimal tension required, minimal tension required to feel rooted and yet lengthened, expansive. When you set yourself in this posture, it's like you're sending a physical message to your brain that this is a great way to carry yourself. This is a way to allow your physical chest, your heart, your actually emotional heart to feel open. Sending a message and accepting that this is a great way to improve your breath. This posture allows the air to easily flow in, easily flow out. And then this morning for the rest of meditation, I'm going to ask you anytime you feel distracted, come right back into your body and go through the pieces. You feel tension where it's not needed. With every exhale, start to release that tension. You can start to embody the kind of breath that you want to use throughout the day to either reset or calm.
allow any sounds to create presence rather than distraction. Anytime your mind drifts off and you bring it back, it's an awakening. You know how sometimes background sounds can lull you into sleep and that this opportunity is to allow them to pull you into awakening. Draw your hands to your chest, thumbs to forehead. Namaste. Awesome. Work yourself into a child's pose. Take your time. If you need an extra little stretch somewhere, do that. <clears throat> As you land into child's pose, we're going to shift our breath into Ujjayi breath. It's a full diaphragmatic breath. <clears throat> In meditation, you may have naturally gone into a Nujayi breath, and that's fine. But in practice, we need a Nujayi breath. It's that breath, that full diaphragmatic breath through the nose and throat that will allow us to kind of set ourselves in the poses. It allows us, it allows us to move, it creates a calm in the movements. If you closed your eyes in child's pose, open them up. Press into your palms, lift your arm bones up. Lengthen your spine. Draw yourself up and set yourself up for down dog. Be in a little exploration about where you want your hands and your feet. You can play with them a little bit. I um, I usually end up starting too short and have to move my feet back a little bit and I overshoot and bring them up. It's fluid. Discover what your body needs. You can shift your weight side to side, foot to foot. Lengthening, stretching the backs of the legs. Separate your toes. For what I'm working for my down dog, and I ask you to do the same as working for balance of my weight, rooting my hands in, but pressing into the floor to lift my shoulders up, but not letting the weight settle into the joint of the shoulder, but kind of drawing it into my upper back. And the same from the legs, pressing down and out, drawing the energy up into my full thighs, the pelvis, and really just a full lengthening out of the back half of the body. This morning, walk your hands back. 
Take your feet out wider, land in ragdoll. Allow it to be a process. Let your body slowly adjust to the different movements, the transitions from pose to pose. Allow it to be an active transition, part of the practice. Take two more big breaths. Then you drop your hands, heel to the feet back in to the pelvis width. Lengthen your spine. Fold actively, press down into the floor. Soften your knees, rise all the way up, extended mountain. And breathe. Bigger stretch in on an inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lift and lengthen. Walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Big breath in. Empty it out. Step your feet to your hands. Lengthen your spine. Fold. Rise. Fold forward. Half lift. Step it back to Chaturanga. Make it nice and fluid, simple. Up dog. Down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step to your hands. Lengthen. Fold. Rise. Fold. Lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down. In. And breathe out. Step forward. Lift. And fold. All the way up, reach. Fold forward. Lengthen. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Breath in. All the way out. Step or jump. Lengthen. Bow. All the way up. All the way down. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. I love you. Big inhale. Bigger out breath. Step forward. Lift. Bow. Cheer. And a very brief appearance of my sweet daughter. <laughs> inhale. Fold forward. Lengthen, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right? Low push up, up dog, down dog, left side. And take it down. Up dog. And down dog. 
my daughter's team played their hearts out for one goal away from the championship. <laughs> Big breath in. All the way out. Step forward. Lift. And fold. So we had 15, 11 year olds soaking in tubs with Epsom salt to try to take away the pain in their legs. <laughs> Big breath in. Fold forward. Lengthen. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot forward. As Natalie was coming down the stairs last night, she says, I'm walking like a grandma. <laughs> and take it down. Up dog. And down dog. Left side. Stay for a breath. One more. And down. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale. Breathe out. Step forward. Lift. Bow. Cheer. Let's do an early twist, right? Mm -hmm. And left. One more. Fold. Lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Warrior one, right? Warrior three. Establish balance early, power in the thighs, breathe in. Breathe out, you're gonna fold over your standing leg, bend your knee, step your back foot down, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one. We're gonna slide right into warrior three. Keeping the internal rotation in the back leg, working for both hips square. Breathe in, fold every standing leg, <sighs> bend the knee, back foot touches the earth, step back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, breathe out, jump forward, lengthen, bow, chair pose, fold, Half lift, listen, bend your knees, chaturanga, shoot it back. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, right? Warrior two. Take a second, reset. Shift your feet where you need them for the power of warrior two. Work on getting the spine long, tailbone down, shoulders back. Reverse it. And chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Left side. And two. Reverse. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, lift your right leg straight behind you and then bend your knee, hip over hip, stretch. Choose to hold it right here or go into flip dog. I love flip dog. For me, it creates an opening while it's creating strength. So I get an opening in the front of the body Start to feel some energy in my low back, which helps, helps my practice. One more breath and take it around to down dog. Side plank, right arm down.
Breathe in. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg lifts. Then bend your knee, go hip over hip. And flip it. Down dog. Side blink, left arm down. One more breath here. Take it down, Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Step your right foot up for crescent lunge. Take a moment, set the pose, lift the front of the pelvis, create that length in your spine, find your stability. And twist to the right. You can open your arms if that's a better pose for you today. I'm gonna keep my hands on my chest if I can. It's actually more of a challenge for me right now with the instability in my hip. And warrior two. From the ground up, feet, thigh bones in, lifting, drawing the ribs toward the pelvis, like there's a lot going on. You can reverse it. I'm gonna straighten my front leg for a second. And then come back in and I have to readjust my feet slid <laughs> and then extend the side angle. Forearm to your thigh or hand to a block on the outside of your front foot. And again, like give yourself a second, press into your feet, allow it to adapt, allow the pose to adapt to your needs. And then reach for more space by rooting into the earth, lift the front of the pelvis and space between your shoulders, space in your back. You can take your left arm over your ear from left foot all the way to your left pinky, open. You can look up under your left arm. One more inhale and chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot, crescent lunge. Take your twist. Open up warrior two. Breath or two, setting your pose. Breath or two, establishing the connection in your feet. Big reverse. Straighten your front leg if you want. Extended side angle. Reaching over your top ear, 
Pressing down into your feet, especially your back foot. Press down, lengthen. Ujjayi, Drishti can go up. Last breath, Chaturanga. Up dog. And down. Take a full inhale. And breathe it out. Step to your hands, lengthen, crow, so feet together, knees way up. Let's go in for five, four, three, two, and feet down. Chair. Twist right. Take a big breath, fold over your legs, separate your feet, grab your big toes, lengthen your spine, fold. Eyes wide open, back of your mat. Release your grip, bring your feet back in, lengthen your spine. Bow on your in-breath chair, on your out-breath twist. Fold. Feet out, slide your hands under from the front for gorilla. Lengthen your spine and then pull yourself down. Exhale. <sighs> Give yourself two more breaths. One more. Plant your palms, feet in, crow. This time, your last breath, you will shoot back for Chaturanga. Three more. Last inhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Step left foot forward. Warrior one. Right arm under for eagle arms. Take a gentle work in. So you're gonna go in through like warrior three with your leg lifted, then you bend your knee and wrap it around for eagle. Drishti forward. You may only see your own arms. Okay, listen carefully. Reach up. And then take your arms behind you for airplane arms. Slide your leg back for airplane. You're gonna step it right back down. You're gonna be in crescent lunge. Drop your hands, chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Left arm under, eagle arms. Do your transition. And lift your back leg up, bend your knee, knee to knee, wrap it. An eagle, lift your fingers up, pull your shoulders back. Set your breath free. And you're gonna release your arms. First reach them up and then swing them around like airplane wings, shoulders onto your back. Back leg lifts back, you're kind of going through airplane and you're stepping your foot down, hands to the earth, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Jump forward. 
Lengthen your spine. Fold all the way up. Eagle right. Extended mountain, eagle left. Extended mountain, standing leg raise, right side, bent knee or start to straighten. Take it out to the right. You can start to shift your gaze left. You can keep your gaze forward. That's funny, the last two years because of me teaching and practicing, my gaze has become the my gaze has become forward. Okay, bring it back. Reach up. Airplane. So when I go back into a studio, it'll be nice to practice shifting my drishti to the side again. Breathe. Hands to chest. Start to open into half moon. You may use a prop under your left arm. It's not mandatory. I want you to do what gives you the most space feels the most stable and powerful in your own body. And release, foot to the floor, rise. This is a reset point. And then lift your left leg up. You can choose to work at the straightened leg or bent knee. Take it out to the right. And noticing that the straight doesn't have to be straight, right? Like it's a work in progress. If it is, awesome. And it's not mandatory. Standing up straight is the work. Center. And airplane, arms fly, lifting your upper back and shoulders, breath. Trishti's down, but a little bit forward down. And it goes with your chest. So your head and neck in line with your spine. And as you lift the chest, the head naturally lifts a bit. And then hands to chest. And you're gonna open in half moon. This side may look exactly like the other side. It may look different. Take it out of the thinking mind, put it into your body. Working to shift Drishti up. And release it. If you have a strap, grab it. Rise up, extended mountain. We're gonna do dancer, right side. And again, I like the strap just because in my body, it helps me really create some opening in my shoulders and it gives me a connecting point to improve my overall core alignment. Core alignment from my pelvis to my chest. Always have to remind people, you're not lifting with the strap. You're squeezing and using it as a connection. You're lifting with your foot, your glutes. And release. So the muscle action comes from glutes. What is lifting is the heel. Release, nicely done, right side. And I'm intentionally, intentionally trying to give you a little more space in the practice with not so much instruction. 
So you can find your way, discover and enjoy and release. Left side. And release. Well done. You can let go of the strap. Find your feet planted firmly and rooted into the earth. Hands by your side. Lift and lengthen your spine. Tree right side. I love maintaining my hands to my chest center and tree. If what you love is extending your arms up, go there. Enough breaths to feel the stability and the length and strength of your tree. Switch sides. Release. Nice. Reach all the way up. Big reach. Like feel the length and the sides of your body. Inhale. Then fold forward. Exhale. Lengthen your spine. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Warrior one on the right side. Warrior two. Set your pose, set your gaze. Triangle. Three points down, two feet, right hand. Ground into your feet. Ground into your right hand. Pull both shoulders on your back. Feel yourself up, rotate your right foot in, interlace your hands behind your back, open your shoulders, inhale. Straddle fold, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your shoulders wrapped onto your back. Lift up, rotate your feet. Keep this bind. Lengthen your spine. Hinge forward. You're hinging now at the hips. Not folding at your torso, but hinging at your hips, pressing into both feet. If you can fold over your front leg, do that. You're gonna drop your hands down. Locate your block inside or outside of your front foot. Lift and lengthen your spine. Working to get the pelvis square. Trying not to give in to the drop in one hip or the other. Just keep working, even if one hip is dropping, as long as you're working toward the square. Breathe in, chaturanga. The practice is never about making it look better. It's about allowing it to feel better. Left foot warrior one. So as we adapt, shift and change, warrior two. 
we learn where we need to add energy to create space. Triangle pose. And I try to share the things that I've learned. They may not work for you, right? You may have to be adapting a different way. They also may really work. Reach into your feet, create the length, lift the front of the pelvis up. Spine back, crown forward. Same thing on this side, peel yourself up, rotate the foot in, create the arm bind. I'm going palm to palm. Open the chest, fold. Breathe in, breathe out, fold. Keep your shoulders locked on your back, raise up, turn the feet, pyramid. Length and fold. So you're hinging really, I said fold, but I really want you hinging. Hinging at the hips. Drop your arms, lock hand, right hand down, twisting triangle. Work with your anatomy. One more inhale and both hands down. Step back, down dog. Breathe in high plank. Breathe out low. Breathe in high and lower all the way down. Place one ear to the floor. Let your arms rest. Center your chin on the mat. Turn your feet so that the mounds of the feet are down. So toes kind of turn under. Set your arms onto your back. You can go wings or interlace, palms down. Lift up into locust with your feet planted first. And then lift your legs. I like to keep my feet flexed. It keeps me out of the low back. Keeps my into my glutes and legs and out of the scrunching of my low back. One more breath in and down. That means I don't lift as high. But for me, at this age and stage of my life, that's okay. I want to feel the space of the back bend and the power of it. Center your chin, locus number two, your way. Progress into half bow, right leg will bend, catch onto your foot or ankle, and then switch it, other half bow. Drop it down, cheek to floor. Center again, bend both legs, bow. Come down, opposite cheek again, breathe in, breathe out, floor blow. Drop down, hands by your ribs, up dog. Down dog. Knees down, camel number one. Catch your alignment with your hips right over your knees. Squeeze that in, shoulders wrap onto your back, open up. Choose where your hands go, glutes, thighs, or all the way down. Mm 
and come up. Have a seat on your feet. You can go uh, toes closed with your toes turned under or you can just rest. Get a drink. Come up, count on two. <clears throat> and rise up. Take your feet in front of you, come to your back for bridge pose. We're gonna do um, one bridge and then the other poses are wheel. Bridge is an acceptable alternative for wheel. You could also opt in for a restorative bridge, which takes blocks under your low back. You can try on each pose and then decide. But for now we're in bridge, one way or the other. Powerfully pressing into our feet and our shoulders either allowing the sacrum to relax or squeezing the seat and lifting up. Relax your jaw. Set your gaze up. One vertebra at a time, articulate down to the mat. Breathe in. And out, use bridge as your transitional place and then go into wheel. Come down gently, tuck your chin under, really, really let your spine go down slowly, 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 breathe in. Exhale, go back up, bridge into wheel. Come down. Breathe in. All the way out. Go up. Come down. Breath in. Breath out. Go up. Keep your breath moving. Come down. The grand finale, inhale. Exhale. And up. And down. Soles of your feet together, supta. Let your arms rest by your sides. Let your body come down from the work. Knees together and a happy baby. Knees together, extend your legs for stability and release your hands behind your head. I have this little mechanism where I will press the back of my head into my hands to lock that. And then I'm gonna draw my ribs toward my pelvis to squeeze and lift up. So it keeps me from pulling on my neck, keeps me from using my arms and it actually kind of takes me out of my hip flexors a little bit. You're gonna lower your right leg, gaze towards your right toes and then pulse 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch your legs out, pulse up. Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna lower the right leg, switch your legs out, and pulse for two, switch, two, switch, 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 and switch. Last one. Bend your knees, take it right into bicycles. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, using your obliques. Three, two, one, I think. Take your hands underneath your low back, extend your legs out. Lower your legs one third of the way. Draw your femurs into the pelvis. Press your spine down. Two thirds, same thing, femurs in, spine down. Take it to a hover, draw your chin to your chest, just look at your feet, breathe. Take them up. Do it again. Plant your spine into the mat, lower one third. Two. Take them to a hover. Look. Take them up, rock up into boat, Navasan. Rock up and back, Navasan, you boat. Drop your feet, down dog. You stretch out in down dog, then go right into half pigeon. Give yourself like three more really good breaths here. And then switch sides. Estimating it's about seven to eight full breaths.
Down dog. Oh no, uh, let's go to uh, double pigeon. Sorry, double. Began with a D. <laughs> All the pets think that when you come down to the floor, it's their turn, right? Now she's here, it's my turn. Switch sides for double pigeon. My cat is currently sitting at my door meowing. <laughs> I can't hear her. We're gonna do about a 10 breath frog. So land in it efficiently. Come out to seated, <sighs> extending your legs, bring your right foot into your left thigh, nice big reach, fold. sides. And then both legs out. And both legs. Pull down. Reverse tabletop. Hey, Charlotte. <laughs> Open up. And release down. Let's do shoulder stand. We'll do just a three or four breath shoulder stand with a three or four breath plow. Air pressure pose. And a gentle roll all the way out into a spinal twist. sides.
Come to center, let your arms rest by your sides. Bring your feet together for supta. Eyes closed, allow the breath to be easy. When you're ready, Shavasana. Best type of Shavasana is a supported one. Just take a deep breath. And as you're ready, roll to your side with your knees into your chest. And then allow your babies to push you up to seated. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Thumbs to forehead. Namaste. <laughs>